everybody and welcome to the Crafty Queen channel. I just want to do a special shout out to Adriana, one of my biggest fans. She made this mug for me. Isn't it cute? I love it. I keep it with all my other favorite mugs. But in this video, I'm going to show you my budget friendly bathroom makeover. So keep watching. So this is the bathroom decor that I had before. I've had this up for too long, matter of fact. I have a fascination with owls. So I decorated this bathroom with kind of a forest theme. I also did a video on this a while ago and I will put a link at the top of this screen in case you wanna see my bathroom tour video of how I decorated this. And here's how my bathroom looked after I cleared everything out. Now I had two goals set for myself when it came to remaking this bathroom. Goal number one was to stay within a good enough budget not only was I going to try to spin as less as possible, but I also wanted to reuse a lot of things that I had laying around my house and just repurpose them into decorating this bathroom. So I won't have to go buy a bunch of different things. The second goal was I wanted to get rid of the builder grade look of this bathroom, which mostly is the focus on the vanity. Um, first off, the vanity top was killing me. I couldn't stand how yellow it looked compared to the toilet. So I had to do something about that. And then the wood of the vanity was just too brownish orange to me. It just looked so builder grade and I needed to find a way to make it look like it was uh, something that was custom built for this bathroom but also something that had a lot of character to it. So those were my two goals for this project. I'm gonna start off with painting the walls. I'm using a Satin Valspar Ultra Paint. This is the exact same paint that I used to decorate my guest bathroom some months ago. I'll put a link at the top of the screen if you wanna check out that video. Oh, and be sure to watch this video to the end if you wanna have a sneak preview of my next makeover video. And here you can see it's slightly darker than the original color, but it definitely has a lot more sheen to it. After I was done painting, it was time for me to tackle the cabinet. So I used 120 grit sandpaper and I lightly sand it down first. Now this cabinet is laminate, so I had to use a gel stain instead of regular stain in order to give it a different color. And I decided to go with the color um, aged oak in this gel stain to give it more of a chocolatey look. I've never used gel stain before, so this was different for me, but you basically brush it on with a brush and you wipe it off with a rag, kind of lightly, not too hard and um, you could just put as many layers as you want to get whatever color you want. And here you can see how much darker it's looking and this is how it looks with just one coat. I went in with two coats. While I let that dry, I moved on to the vanity and I sandpapered it with 120 grit and I wiped all the dust off with a cloth and then I started to paint some appliance epoxy on it. I'm sorry I didn't really give you a close-up of the can. I was kind of trying to finish up for the night. This does come in a spray can version but I've heard that if you use the spray can you have to cover the entire bathroom from head to toe because the paint will get everywhere and I really didn't want to go through that so I just decided to just paint it on with a brush. And then I was done for the night. The next day, I applied a second and a third coat of appliance epoxy to the sink. I really like the colors of my floor tile, the brown, the cream color, and the gray all merged together. I thought that was different, but in order to make it look cleaner, I used a white grout pen to brighten it up.
I put all the hardware back on the cabinet and I also went to Walmart and purchased this satin nickel paper towel rack that I installed underneath my medicine cabinet so that way it could match the rest of the hardware and I could have a more permanent place for my paper towels. I decided to make my own shelves so I went to Dollar Tree and I bought a couple of hanging brackets and a few plungers. And then I went to Lowe's and I bought a wooden board and I had them cut the wooden board down to the size that I needed. At first I stained all the wood with this um, special walnut color of stain but then ultimately I ended up putting a final coat of the gel stain that I used on the cabinets just to make sure the shelving matched the cabinet. I painted all the brackets white using this appliance epoxy spray paint and then I glued the brackets to the bottom of the wood with E6000 glue. Well a combination of the E6000 glue and my hot glue gun. And then I glued the plunger stick to the bottom of the brackets with E6000 glue in case I wanted to have a place to hang a, a hand towel or something. But when I totaled out the $7 that I spent for this board and then the supplies that I got from Dollar Tree, I ended up making four shelves with these products. I only put two shelves in this bathroom though, but um, each shelf costs less than five dollars and they came out looking so beautiful i couldn't believe i made this um and then the shelves match the cabinet so well it looks like it was all built together as one and this is how the bathroom looks before i decorate it this is how everything turned out And this was my first attempt to make a window cornice and I'm going to use a styrofoam board, a pool noodle, and some fabric. So I cut the styrofoam board into these individual pieces and I cut the pool noodle in half. And this is how I hot glued all the pieces together. Then I ironed the fabric and I laid the fabric and a little bit of batting out just like this and I made sure there was extra fabric um, to cover over the board and the batting. And I hot glued the fabric into the grooves of the pool noodle and once I got the front of it covered then I took the sides and I twisted it and pulled it to the back where I hot glued everything in place and I made sure to leave a little bit of opening for the board so that I could use some command strips to stick it to the wall. Now I want to make a stand to hold my toilet paper rolls. So I'm going to use a dish rack from Dollar Tree and some rope and some twine. And I covered the dish rack with some brown construction paper. I also glued some twine and individual cuts of rope to it. And as far as this basket I got from Ross for only $4. I spray painted with this silver spray paint. And then I wrapped the handles with some twine as well. And this is how this turned out. I made a sign for my bathroom using a leftover wooden board from making the shelves, a wall decal from Dollar Tree, some white paint, and some thumbtacks. These next items I found in storage and I decided to spray paint them and give them a fresh look. Some of these things are a little Asian inspired. I have a, a little thing for Asian decor sometimes.
Except for my Bath and Body Works candle, the rest of these items are other things that I've collected over the years from Dollar Tree. And I just painted them, glued them, and I used them to decorate the next shelf. Dollar Tree had these adorable succulents that I just could not leave in the store and I just put them in this garden box that I already had around the house. Remember I told you I had a thing for owls? Well, this was a gift from a family member and I haven't really had any place to put it until now. I'm so thankful that finally I was able to have a place for it. I got some branches from my backyard, mixed it with some Dollar Tree flowers, and there you go. I'm keeping my baskets because they help give a natural element to the room. And I got this picture for only $10 at my local pop shelf store. And this was the inspiration to the entire decor of this bathroom. I love this picture. It is so beautiful. I can't stop looking at it. I'm also keeping my candle tray where it was, but I'm replacing the rocks with some white pebbles so that the green color can pop. And I ordered these curtains from Walmart and these are some beautiful see-through ruffle curtains. I got them as long as I could. I think it's like 94, 96 inches long so I can hang them from the ceiling to the floor. And they give my bathroom such a beautiful girly element. This is the best part of my bathroom. And then also I got this white rug from Bed Bath & Beyond oh, on sale too for only like 10 bucks and this rug feels amazing on my feet. Overall, I'm very happy with how my bathroom turned out. It gives off a much more relaxing zen vibe now. I spent about $100, however, with the items such as like the gel stain and the appliance epoxy um, and the grout pen, I still have plenty of those products left and I plan on using them on my guest bathroom as well. And those products, those are things that I'm going to be reusing over and over again on future product projects down the road. And don't go anywhere just yet. Stick around for previews for my next upcoming makeover video coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please support your girl. And I can't wait to catch you guys next time. Bye.